the James Webb Space Telescope has done it again. Sitting quietly in the emptiness of space, more than a million miles away from Earth, the telescope drifts well beyond the reaches of our planet's atmosphere. Equipped with cutting-edge optics and next-generation sensors, it recently pointed its attention at the Alpha Centauri system, specifically at Proxima Centauri b, an Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting the nearest star to our own solar system. What it saw has rattled the scientific community to its very foundations, asking questions that could redefine our position in the universe. Across a period of several nights, web sensors picked up something remarkable, a 270% increase in visible light emissions from the dark side of the planet. That is correct, not the starlit side, but the cold, shadowy hemisphere that never encounters the sun because the planet's rotation is tidally locked. These emissions were not faint flashes or short-lived anomalies. They were abrupt, persistent, and unusually uniform. Most remarkably, the spectral and temporal profiles of the light were unlike any geological or atmospheric phenomenon on record. Rather, they strongly resemble the kind of artificial illumination produced by human cities, patterned, structured, and recurring. This is, by no means, a historic moment. It is the first time in recorded history an astronomical observatory has recorded data that suggests artificial lighting on another planet. The implications are profound and deeply disturbing. Picture gazing at the dark side of a so-called dead and frozen planet and seeing it light up like a metropolis-sized city. Until now, scientists had written off Proxima B's dark side as hostile, stuck in perpetual darkness and bitter cold. But Webb's observations have turned that assumption upside down. Proxima Centauri B is a planet that orbits a red dwarf star about four light years from Earth. While it falls inside its parent star's so-called habitable zone, its habitability has been in doubt for years because of the extreme radiation from the host star and because it is tidally locked. One face is incinerated under perpetual daylight, the other frozen in unbroken night. Traditional wisdom held that life would not be able to take hold there. But these new findings indicate otherwise. The light surge indicates not only survival, but widespread habitation, perhaps even a thriving civilization that has overcome the very issues we believed made the planet uninhabitable. Of course, scientists rush to eliminate known natural explanations. Perhaps this is volcanic activity? Highly unlikely, the emissions failed to correspond to any thermal signature related to volcanism or lava flow. Was it magnetic field caused auroras? No, again, the spectral observations branched sharply away from familiar auroral lines. Maybe Proxima Centauri had a flare episode? Nope. The red dwarf was stable throughout the observation period. Finally, the only other plausible explanation, whether it seemed incredible or not, was that the light was artificial. If this is artificial light, a new chapter in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is opened. For decades, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, has largely focused on intercepting radio waves or laser pulses, some form of deliberate communication. But this isn't that. This is not a signal sent to us. This is a civilization going about its life, possibly unaware that we're even watching. The light is not a message, but it is a type of data, and in a lot of ways, it could be even more informative than a transmission. Consider this, on the planet Earth, cities viewed from space shine unmistakably in the dark. That brightness, though, is just an artifact of infrastructure, energy use, and human existence. If we're witnessing something like this on Proxima B, it indicates an advanced civilization, one that is able to produce and maintain enormous levels of energy output on a cold, always dark half of a planet. Nuclear power? Fusion? Some other form of energy we have yet to find? Whatever the means, it would take an extremely advanced technological foundation. More intriguing is the matter of intent. Was this light spike incidental, maybe the work of urban encroachment or a population surge? Or intentional, a low-key but unmistakable method of making their presence known? Might they have picked us up first and elected to leave a breadcrumb trail, observable to only the most sophisticated of onlookers? If that was a beacon, it's the most subtle but engrossing one ever seen. Astronomers are already scrambling to verify Webb's observations. Independent confirmation is necessary. 
the European Southern Observatory's Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, and the 30-meter telescope, TMT, are both being scheduled to double-check the data. Spectral analysis has already begun, designed to find chemical signatures, modulation patterns, and possible rhythms in the light, anything that might provide a lead on its origin or design. If we are fortunate, and technology keeps evolving, we may soon reach the holy grail, mapping surface features on Proxima b. Optical interferometry and next-generation telescopic arrays may make the dream of viewing alien cities, vaguely, far away, but they're all too real. A skyscape looming above a dark, icy horizon could be the most revolutionary picture in all history. Of course, governments and space agencies around the world are paying close attention. The significance of proven alien technology is difficult to exaggerate. This isn't speculation any longer. This is proof, visible, peer-reviewed, and supported by one of the most powerful tools humanity has ever created. And with that proof comes a moral and diplomatic question. Do we call out? Do we respond with a signal? Or do we remain silent, not wanting to infringe on a culture we still don't fully grasp? The potential dangers are obvious. The beings responsible for that light may be benevolent, indifferent, or hostile. They may no longer even be alive, leaving behind automated systems running endlessly in their absence. Or perhaps, they're watching us, just as we're watching them. The prospect of mutual observation between two civilizations separated by 4.24 light years is deeply humbling and a little terrifying. Religious and philosophical groups are also struggling with what it means. The find could upend centuries-old assumptions about human exceptionalism and our place in the universe but it might also lead to a new sense of unity. The realization that we are not alone, far from reducing us, may lift us up, situating us in a larger, interstellar fabric. Education systems will also change. Children today will get to grow up in a world in which alien civilizations are not fantasy but reality. Academic fields new and unimagined will be invented, interstellar anthropology, cosmic diplomacy. One discovery has the potential to transform fields ranging from ethics and theology to engineering and planetary science. Public response has been explosive. Social media is on fire with theories, artwork, enthusiasm, and skepticism. While there are plenty of conspiracy theories circulating, the openness of the data and the simplicity of Webb's observations are facilitating experts in framing the public's understanding. And under all the noise, there is a common emotion, awe. The fact that somewhere out in space, life has not only survived but thrived provides hope to a species struggling to survive on a precarious planet. This is also a victory moment for the James Webb Telescope itself. After decades of delays and skepticism, it has now produced something much beyond expectations. It's not just opening a window into the far past, it's unveiling a way into a shared cosmic future. Funding for the next generation of telescopes and interstellar missions is being reviewed even now. Initiatives such as Breakthrough Starshot, which plans to launch microprobes to the nearest star systems, are being revisited. Proxima b is no longer any ordinary exoplanet. It is the exoplanet. The mystery. The message. The mirror. The search for technosignatures, evidence of alien technology, has now moved from the fringes of science to its frontier. Light pollution, power grids, atmospheric industrial waste, these are no longer sci-fi tropes but actual detection goals. We're not just discovering planets anymore. We're discovering civilizations. And so, what's next? Will the light shift once more? Will we find a pattern? A message? Are we observing cities, or something else altogether, giant space constructions, arrays of power, or cultural events beyond our ability to understand? Every response spawns additional questions. But for the moment, one thing is sure, we witnessed it. After decades of wondering if we were alone, we have perhaps finally been answered. Not in words. Not as sound. But as light, silent, consistent, undeniable. A message not intended for us, maybe, but one we were finally prepared to witness. The James Webb Space Telescope has not only opened our eyes to the universe. 
It has lit our way to the future. The era of cosmic isolation may be behind us, and the age of interstellar awareness has barely started. 